Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza and today we're gonna be doing the first plan with me video for 2020. So before we start, these are all the supplies I'm gonna be using in this video. My theme for this month is circles, so of course you guys will see me create a bunch of different circles, styles, and sizes throughout this video. As you guys can see, I am just drawing the circles freehand, but you can always opt for stencils or anything to help you draw the circles if you want. And for the cover page, I just draw the circles on the left side of the page to create the washi tape effect. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys probably know by now that this is probably one of my favorite go-to cover page style of all time. There is actually no specific reason behind this theme. I just decided to choose something extra simple this month um, because as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I am still very busy with my new house and stuff. So uh, this theme really really saved my time. It took me roughly around 1-2 to two hours to complete the whole setup. And I am also choosing gold as one of my accent color this month because I am really into gold lately. It is also one of the theme colors for my house, so it is pretty much inspired by that. And as for the navy blue, it is actually inspired by the Pantone color of this year, which is the classic blue. The next page is my monthly log. This is the same layout I use for my December setup. The link to my December plan with me video is in the description in case you guys want to check it out. And in case anyone is wondering, the size of each box is 5 times 5 grids. For the dates, I just kind of alternate the colors between gold, navy blue, and black, and I then write down all the dates with the gold pen. I also decided to draw another bunch of floating circles throughout the page to complete the decoration. And as you guys can see in this video, I am using my Pantel Foot Touch Pen in the color of black to color in the boxes where I write down all the days. Um, and I'm writing down the days with the same gold pen. I'm using the same header style as my cover page. I know we all love to experiment with the new header styles, but in order to get neat spreads, I always tell myself to only use one to two header styles in my monthly setup, and I can always use different styles for future months. The reason behind this is to create more neat and uniform spreads for the whole setup. The next page is my habit tracker page. This is yet another simple layout. For this tracker, I am creating 9 boxes for 9 habits I wanted to track this month. The boxes at the top are where I write down all the habits and the numbers underneath each box represent the dates for this month. So to track my habits, I will just go on and color in each date when I complete the habit. 
My habits were all over the place last month. Um, frankly speaking, I wasn't really happy with how it went and I still have a few habits that are not improving at all. Um, but with the new year and the new month and the new resolutions, so to speak, I'm all pumped up so hopefully I'll manage to improve. I complete the layout with another bunch of flooring circles. This is the new spread that I'm bringing this year, which is the sleep tracker. Um, fun fact, my sleeping parents are pretty bad. I can actually go all night without sleep. And it's bad, I know. So this year, I'm kind of trying to change this bad habit and also my biological clock. It's kind of improving right now, but it's still bad. So hopefully I'll manage to improve this as well. So for this tracker, the numbers at the top are the time for each day and the numbers at the left side of the page is the dates for this month. The goal for this tracker is to actually get a rough idea of how my sleeping patterns and how I can actually improve. I then complete this tracker with a few circles with different sizes. The next page is the quote page. The quote says, So I close my eyes to old ends and open my heart to new beginnings. And I feel like this is the perfect quote to start off the new year. And I also added a bunch of circles to complete this quote page. The next and the last page for this month is this yet another simple one page weekly spread. This is also one of my favorite go-to layout especially when I'm super busy. This layout practically took me around 15 minutes to complete. So here's the final flip through of my January setup. I kind of like how it turned out. I think it looks neat and simple. And yep, I am complimenting my own spread. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I would also really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my baby channel by subscribing. As usual, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I am always open for any suggestions. You guys can leave your suggestions in the comments below as well as through my Instagram account. Talk to you guys again hopefully in the next video. Until then, bye bye!